save our world is coming. Over the last century, we have turned a corner. We are on the verge of the climate that no longer seeks to destroy us. The mission of Moonhaven isn't simply about solving the crushing problems of our planet. It's about solving us. Welcome to Moonhaven. Moonhaven isn't a people. It's a purpose. It takes a while to get used to this. I get that this is supposed to be our future. But you and I know, darkness finds a way. Hasn't been a murder here in a long time. Now there are two. Earth extremists have found a way to get an agent on the moon. The Earthers will kill us all! There are Earthers amongst us causing chaos. Ah! And your pilot is involved. Bella helps us. She's not what she seems to be. We don't survive in spite of our wounds. We survive because of them. We, all of us, have been raised to believe in this mission with all of our hearts and minds. Ah! If we cannot heal the dark heart of Bella Sway, how can we ever hope to succeed? I don't know who to trust. Trust me. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Moon Haven arriving to AMC Plus on July 7th. And as you see on the screen, I'm so honored right now. I got to tell you, I'm just, I got to bring this energy up because you are a legend to me. I just, before we start, I got to give you personal thanks for inspiring a young brother of color like myself uh, growing up in the 80s, man. So uh, as you see on the screen, I got Kadeem Hardison, a.k.a. Dwayne Wade, a.k.a. Arlo in Moonhaven. Such a pleasure. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm glad to meet you. Definitely, definitely, man. Uh, What's your I've name been... again? Kuya P. Kuya P. Is Kuya what they P. Call got you. It's yes, so sir. Little, I can't see. It. Yeah, Kuya P. I got you now. No worries. Truly a pleasure, sir. Um, oh, so uh, let, let's talk about uh, going from a different world to extraterrestrial worlds with <laughs> Moonhaven. Um, yeah. Are you a sci-fi fan out, out the break? Also, uh, always have been. I mean, I, as a kid, I was lost in space and Star Trek. So, yeah, Star Wars, I saw 14 times. The first one, you know, stood out, just got in the line, got back in line, got back in line, watched it all day long. Um, yeah, I've always been a, a big sci-fi freak. Uh, just never got a chance to work in that medium. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah, I was like looking at the IMDb. My mom, you, you man, yeah. a legend, and they didn't give you no passes yet. So I'm hoping this is the start to seeing you representing, man. I, I love it. And I, yeah. I peeped the Thanos there. The nerd in me is like, yo, he, he got Bishop back there. He got Thanos. He got yeah. Anyway, I'm loving <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. This is Nerds yeah. Rule the World. So NRW, we all about it. That's um, it. So this, this is super dope. Um, So tell me about booking this role. Finally getting a role where you can play out of a sandbox <laughs> that you're not normally in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I read this script and uh, and and it was so new, like that. I'd never read anything like this before, and and couldn't wait to audition and show off and 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 show them how passionate I was about wanting to be down. And it went well, and I got the job. <clears throat> and yeah. Just the ideas proposed in it about a society that could live with humans together, no crime, no money, no, no famine, all those things that plague us now uh, are gone. And, and I just thought, now nah, I want to be down with this because we've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen anything like this before. So I was really kind of excited to to be in it and, and to go after it, actually. I love it. All right, so you booked the character, you book Arlo. What what did you want to bring to him? And were there was there any input or, input or notes that uh, with Peter Orko, shout out to the showrunner uh, about Arlo? Um, no, nah, he pretty much was like, you got it. You are true loon. Like, and he said that when he said that to me, it, it kind of let me know, okay, I really, I want to, I want to make, like, like there's conflict in most of the characters. That's what's good about it. And for Arlo so far, well, I don't know how much you've seen, <clears throat> not a lot of conflict. True Loon 
you, you're not about the conflict. You're about the resolution. And, and he is definitely 100%. I get, like, I, then I made up in my head, okay, I'm third generation Mooner. That's truth. That's fact, not, not in my head. So then I had to go, okay, this is my grandfather's work that started and passed on to my father and then passed on to me. So it's not like they snatched me out of, you know, Philly and said, all right, now you on the moon, learn how to deal. No, I've been here. I don't know anything else. So it got real easy to fall into a comfort zone with everything around me, no matter how weird it might seem to an audience member or to an earther who comes to visit or any other mooners. Like, you know, because everyone's got their thing. But Arlo, True Loon, uh, yeah, it just, it just, it was exciting. It was, uh, whew, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard to talk about because I can't, I'm not trying to give away. <laughs> I feel anything. you. I feel you. Yeah. So I'm just trying to talk in generalities. Yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So I saw the first two episodes uh, and I, okay, I, I have good. the others out, outside of the fans. I know y'all going to be P this. So I'm not going to spoil it for y'all either. But um, okay. I, I was surprised by it. It's, it's a different character that I've seen you play. Um, yeah. What do you like most about him uh, and playing I, him? I, I, I love the fact that he's so true to the cause, that there's no there's no crack in his armor. Um, and I love that it, there's a little playfulness in him. Like it's not just a detective and 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 you know, he's straight laced and by the book. No, there's lots of outside of the box thinking. There's lots of exploration with him. Um, he still kind of has a a, a kid in his heart and he wants to uh, discover. Um, so yeah, that was probably the, the most fun. Um, running along with Dominic was fantastic because you know I'm a fan of his. So putting us together, I thought it was gonna be fun. You know, for me, I like good partners and, and Emma too, because most of my scenes are, are with Dom and Emma and Joe. Yeah, you know, you give me good partners, we we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. And um and everybody on the damn show is so talented <laughs> and so good. And it's always it's always fun to hear someone else to watch the show and hear their moon speak, you know, as mooners. Because everyone's just a little different because we didn't get together and go, okay, how you gonna talk? How you gonna talk? Okay, I'm gonna talk like that. Uh-uh. We had one table read where we read the script out loud and you got to hear me like, ooh. Ooh, how moon speak is dope. Like, yeah. So, so yeah, so I was like, okay, well, I'm not from England, <laughs> like most of y'all. So I got to come up with my own moon speak that still feels real and organic to me. Um, so yeah, that was fun. It was just, it was just a blast just to to hear it out loud and to to work with the other actors. It was, you know, all a joy. I dig that. I, I gotta say, when I first started watching it, because I don't know, without spoiling, it started with that moon speak, and then with you and Dominic, mm -hmm. you know, talking and everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, hold up, I didn't quite get it. But then I was like, <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta think it's a different time generation. Yeah. And yeah. then I got, then I was like, okay, it, it's building yeah. a world, and we're feeling yeah. this new world. So that was spectacular. Yeah. So you brought oh, up Dominic, man. and I, yeah. that partnership, I didn't know I was gonna love it, and I love yeah. that y'all were y'all worked great together. It was yeah, a yeah. buddy thing that I didn't. No, I needed, and it was wonderful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Talk to me about collaborating and Dom and like friendship building on set and how that came he's, together as partners. He he's so like he's got. I say he's got a cheat code because because he uh he's super curious. That's his thing is be curious, and he's always looking to push the envelope a little bit and try something and da da da. And with the English accent. Everything sounds like a good idea. It's hard. It's hard to go. Nah, I don't want to do that because the way he says it, it's like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's, let's give it a shot. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's great. And and watching them now, I have a, an even uh, bigger or better appreciation because I, I I see the work and I and I see his you know his subtleties and his things that I love most about acting. So um, so when we're split because there's a good portion of it when the partners are not together he has his home life I get to you know those are scenes that I'm not in so I didn't get to see him I just read it and watching it I see oh yeah he's rocking oh yeah 
and then you feel for him because he's in a tight spot. <laughs> he's in a in the show anyway. He's a he's in a tight spot, and and as his his best friend, you know, I try to help as as much as I can. Um, and then we have our work that we do together, detecting, so to speak. Um, Try not to give anything away, but yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel. Like, well, I, again, I saw the first two episodes. I hope it, it continues. Just you both are absolutely wonderful together. I didn't know uh, I yeah, needed it in my life, and it, yeah. it was it was well done. So uh, yeah. yesterday, I had the opportunity to speak with uh, Miss Emma McDonald, uh, hey. aka Bella Sway, the star of this. And yeah. again, going back to like as you were saying earlier, like we as PLCs don't get a lot of these kind of roles, like like yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So. Yep. As appeals, I'm like, man, we're representing in here. You're killing it in here. Talk to me about this young Emma McDonald who's going to lead us in this as well and going forward. That we we in space too. Yes, she is our Han Solo, our Tomb Raider, our Princess Leia. She's all of that. Like, I'm so happy for her. Like, she doesn't know what's coming yet because it's her first kind of big gig. So, you know, hopefully this just does wonderful things for her she's wonderful in it you know she's english and she's talking with a an american accent she's playing an american accent and i was always right there in case she was like you know a word didn't sound right to her and she could check with me and i was like you got it kid i you know i got nothing i'm listening i'm definitely listening out and i hear i don't hear anything false here all your notes are good um yeah she did action like she's yeah, she's good. She's good. So, and she's hardworking. When I got to, to <laughs> this is actor stuff. Um, when you get to the table read and you see everybody opens their script, you can tell sometimes, you know, just how prepared or how deep of a dive someone's going in. When you look at script and you see some notes on it, and then you look over at Emma's script and it's color coded. You know, she's got color coded tabs going down. I'm sorry for telling your business, Emma. <laughs> but that's what we do. Sometimes we got to figure out where you are in this moment versus this moment versus this moment, what's your attitude here? And boom, bang, she had it color coded. So when you turn, you know, her scenes, and she's pretty much in all of them, she's got all her uh, her internal stuff, her attitude, her, 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 um, um, her, Ad, uh, uh, shoot, what's the word? Oh man, the clock is going tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Her objectives, yeah, you know, she's got them all lined up and in place. And I was just like, oh, it took me back to when I was young. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I remember at one point I did do that. And then I got older and was like, yeah, nah, I'm not going <laughs> to do that. So, but I love it. I, I love it. I love seeing how hard she works, how hard she worked at the stunts at everything you know i mean she's uh yeah she's our hand solo i love it well i'll just let you know uh when i asked her uh about her colleagues on this and and working with everyone she sang your pra praises and uh really appreciated your mentorship so so to close us out you know my, my last question was tell me about the cast and she immediately brought you up uh oh. tell me about the cast and, and uh what they can expect from you all with the rest Ooh, of the boy we got joe playing a little bit of a heavy, um, Joe Maganello, um, Amara, Amara, sorry, Jesus, the names. Um, it's okay, because I'm trying to say stuff without tipping stuff off, because I got my own thoughts and my own feelings about this and that, but just as a cast in general, it's probably one of the, the, the most talented casts I've ever been a part of. Um, yeah, everybody in it is, is on point. I yell it is 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 a is a oh she's a fire she's probably m to watch my favorite because I had no scenes with her so everything she did was new to me I had scenes with Joe I had scenes with Emma I had scenes with Amara I had scenes of course with Dominic but I yell it I had nothing with well one tiny one where we're you know sitting apart across a room from each other and and listening to her and watching her in the show i just go yeah it, it makes you think oh man i could have did better i should have did better because <laughs> she took the game she took a level up to here 
And it just made you go, wow, we got something. We got it covered on all bases on, you know, me and Dom as partners, Amara and Ayelet as semi-adversaries, Joe and, and um, Emma as, you know, seemingly friends, maybe not, maybe adversaries. Yeah, uh, Yasmin quietly sneaking up in the background. Like, yeah, it's it's a great cast. I'm, I love I'm it. I'm thrilled that that we're all together. That we're you know we that they put this group together, and and hopefully we get to do more of it. Yes, yes. Let's return yes. to space again. Um, yes. Well, Kadeem, this is truly a pleasure. I, again, I have to give you all the love and light, and thank you for being such an inspiration for me personally, from from the bottom wow. of my heart, and even now as a father. You kind of have that that role in a way as well yeah. in that visual for me. So you're continuing to inspire me. I can't wait to see you more. Hopefully, you know, we'll continue seeing us in space. Uh, but yes. this is truly a pleasure. Kadeem Hardison, y'all, a.k.a. Arlo mm -hmm. Moonhaven is on AMC Plus July 7th. Check it out. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Queen P. Oh, <laughs> my